Greetings everyone. Welcome to this newest lesson. I am excited and I hope you'll enjoy it and learn a lot from it. We're going to go straight to it and go over the materials needed for today. I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas and we're doing portrait style. And of course you can, you know, do it the landscape, whatever you're comfortable with. That's just the way um, I chose to do it, but you can create it in your own way. Okay. And um, this is already pre gessoed and ready to go. So I don't need to put anything on it. Um, these are high quality canvases, but if you if you are using a lower uh, lower quality canvas, you can you can still do this, or you can put another coat of gesso and prepare it, you know, and uh, do that process. But I, I just like to go ahead and start, you know, uh, spending a little bit more just to have it all prepared and ready to go. That's that's what I'm using today. So no need to prepare and add anything to it. I like to jump in and go straight to painting. For paints, we're gonna use my acrylics here this is a 24 set right here and i'll show you which colors we're going to use from this set we need medium yellow viridian cerulean blue phthalo blue crimson red and lamb black from my five set, we're going to use titanium white. For brushes, we're going to use a couple of these M1 blending brushes. One I like to use to dab in the water, pick up some paint and lay it out really quick where I want it to be, have a nice smooth blend. Once I'm done, I have to leave it in the water jar and then pick up my dry one and softly blend everything in. And I'll show you how to do that. So we need two of these. In smaller sections, I might be using this M2 blending brush. It's a size smaller. And then my four piece brush set, and I'll show you what is in here. Number eight, right here, a little rough, but it's kind of flat, like Filbert style. Really good for adding trees, adding the effects for trees, bushes, and just kind of blending certain smaller sections in. Okay. So when you, that's in there. And then also this is a number four. This is a size smaller, same idea. Okay. And then a half an inch flat brush. And of course, a zero detail brush for the details. We need palette of some sort, and I like to use palette paper right here because once you're done, there's 40 sheets. And once you're done, you just tear up one sheet and start fresh with the next one. Okay. So something like that. We need a jar of water and a palette knife to mix your paint and then some paper towels to wipe wipe your palette knife and dab your uh, number eight or number um, dab your brushes slightly on here if you use too much water. Now this is not necessary, but if you have a hairball dryer to dry out your first coats, um, I like to do that part when I uh, do the blending part. So when I got, you know, cover my blend of the sky, I like to dry it out before adding any more details onto it because when I'm working, if I'm working wet on wet, like it'll, it can take off, it won't, it will take off the background and then you'll start seeing the canvas showing through. You wanna, you wanna wait till it dries before adding more details, okay? So use this if you have it. If you don't, that's okay. Just wait about 20, 30 minutes and it should be uh, pretty dry, which will be a, probably a good time to take a break, maybe wash your blending brushes and I'll show you guys the steps that I do. And I'm sure those of you that took my lessons already know this process, um, but uh, for the ones that are new here, I like to kind of show them and repeat step by step, okay? All right, guys, I believe that would be all for the materials. Everything I'm using, including canvases, palette paper, my paints and uh, brushes are available at colorbyfelix.com if you're interested. But again, use whatever you got available, have fun with this and create it in your own way um, in your own style and uh, use what you got available. All right, I'm gonna quickly explain what, how we're gonna create this piece together. And I like to work in sections so that you won't be, you know, 
overwhelmed by um, the whole idea of creating a painting, you don't know where to start and all that, I like to work in sections because then I can focus on certain parts and not have my mind go crazy all over the place. So that's why I'll explain what we're gonna do. So the first section is just the blend. Focus on the blend, focus on your mixing of the colors, which I'll be showing you guys. And we're gonna be doing it together. And we're gonna create a nice blend of like this, uh, like a bluish, maybe like a greenish bluish sky going into a dark sky right here. Um, it's almost like an evening setting, okay? And then we're gonna have a, a moon somewhere in the middle and then a big mountain here with nice uh, snow on it and um, some trees on the bottom. Should be pretty simple, but the first section is the blend of the sky and then we're gonna move on to the mountain. We're gonna quickly sketch out the mountain and focus only on the mountain, add all the details we want on it. And then we're gonna focus on whatever is the closest, which are our trees here. And then we're gonna get that. Um, also, I'm gonna add a few clouds here to make it more interesting after I, I finish the mountain. And then, um, so basically all those parts that I explained are sections and I'll be mixing paint to, to to the sections I'm working on, okay? So that all those parts, you can take breaks in between and come back to it the next day. Or if you wanna paint like me today, finish everything in one day, then you can do that as well. All right, guys, I will stop talking now and let's go straight to it and to our palette and mix our shades for the sky first. Mm-hmm. 